हेलो व्यूअर्स टुडे वी विल टॉक अबाउट चाइनीज फिफ्थ जनरेशन फाइटर जेट दैट इज कॉल्ड जे थर्टी वन आई माइट हैव चोजन एन अदर वेपन सिस्टम बट बिकॉज ऑफ सम ब्रेकिंग न्यूज आई डिसाइडेड टू कवर दिस टॉपिक इन अ सेमनी ऑफ इंडक्शन ऑफ जे टेन फाइटर एयरक्राफ्ट the outgoing chief of air staff uh, of pakistan announced that uh, uh j31 that he has laid foundation uh, for uh, induction of j31 into the pakistan air force therefore uh, if uh, if we go through uh, this uh, aircraft about its history and specification they are as follows it is also called uh, fc31 gair falcon and <clears throat> some other names uh, such as f60 or j21 snowy owl or uh, uh, or falcon hawk by some military enthusiast uh it was uh, first its first flight was on 31st october 2020 2012 uh, it's made by shenyang aircraft corporation uh, this is the same uh, shenyang aircraft corporation that made the famous j6 uh, that have been uh, frontline uh, fighters of pakistan air force uh, since 1966 and retired now uh, the, the other uh, is the Uh, Chengdu Aircraft Corporation that has the J7 F7 that has also that have also been part of uh, Pakistan Air Force uh, but uh, J6 numbers were unprecedented and uh, they were used in all roles uh, of fighter aircraft so J31 was actually in competition uh, Uh, as a competition design uh, when j10 was selected but uh, uh, its aircraft manufacturers uh, developed it it's it as a private venture thereafter uh, because they had already built the prototype and this uh, uh, chinyang aircraft corporation passed on and developed a private project aiming to secure potential export customers A photo of model of labeled F-60 was posted on inter- internet in September 2011. In June 2012, photos and phone camera video clips started to emerge on the internet regarding heavily or overwrapped fighter plane airframe, widely suspected to be F-60 prototype, being road transferred on a highway, earning the nickname Long Z plane. among chinese netizens though some suspect of it of merely being an l15 trainer aircraft pictures of a possibly fully assembled aircraft parking on an airfield emerged on 15 or 16 september 2012 the f60 is reported to be the export version a 1/4 scale model of j31 was shown at China's International Aviation and Aerospace Exhibition 2012 hinting at a desire to offer aircraft for export as an alternative for those countries that cannot purchase the F35 the J31 airframe was publicly unveiled on 12 November 2014 at Zhuhai Air Show in TV broadcast of unveiling avid chairman Lin Zuming claimed that the funding for the aircraft came entirely from the company with no input from the military as typical in flight displays of fighter jets after burners were engaged throughout the maneuvers however a large scale model of the fc31 on display did show uh, did show some detailed changes of configuration compared to the flying prototype at the 2015 dubai air show avic released more detail Regarding the aircraft's capabilities, the company revealed that it is still looking for a partner in the aircraft project. 
and is actively marketing the aircraft to People's Liberation Army Air Force. Avic's plan was to have a production model first flight by 2019. It means the production flight of the final uh, J31 uh, because the first flight was already done in uh, 2012. So they are talking about the uh, big changes that was done to the model and the final uh, pre-serial production model first flight by 2019. FC-31 chief designer Sun, Sun Kong expressed that the aircraft will follow his J-15 onto China's aircraft carriers. However, officials from AVIC only said that the aircraft was intended for export as a competitor of the F-35. Uh, what uh, really happens was uh, uh, there is some modification on this aircraft and that will result into the J-35 uh, fighter. It's not same as J-31. The naval version is J-35. In 2015, Jiang, uh, Jiangsu A-Star Aviation Industries Limited Industries Company marketed its EOTS-86 infrared search and track as a possible addition to the J-31. An improved prototype with modification to the vertical stabilizers, wings and airframe, an electro-optic targeting system, a larger payload, improvements in stealth, upgraded electronics, made its, its maiden flight in December 2016. Uh, it means uh, very ahead of uh, their plan uh, schedule in 2019. They did that in December 2016. In November 2018, an Aviation Week article stated that the FC-31 program has received government funding uh, and is being sought after by both uh, Navy and Air Force of the PLA, according to the official sources. In June 2020, Reports surfaced that a third variant of FC-31, a more production-ready version with smoother lines, a bigger red arm for a bigger radar, and a close, closer alignment of control services, control service surfaces to reduce the radar signature, had been developed. And the new fighter has been referred uh, to by some as J-35. Uh, that they are talking about the navalized version. In 20. On uh, 29 October 2021, the modified carrier-based variant of FC-31, dubbed J-35 by commentators, made its maiden flight. It is intended to operate from the forthcoming Type 003 aircraft carrier with an electromagnetic aircraft launch system. The naval variant is based on the second prototype of FC-31, but also includes a catapult launch bar and a wing fold mechanism. Uh, they still are talking uh, talking about the J-35. Now we go back to the J-31. Uh, the pro uh, on 31st October 2012, prototype number 31001 conducted its model maiden flight. It was accompanied by two J-11 fighters in a 10-minute test flight with its landing gear lowered. With the maiden test flight of prototype number 31001 on 30th October 2012, China became the second nation uh, to have two stealth fighter designs in field testing at the same time. The aircraft has continued. Uh, the first nation was, obs uh, was obviously, uh, obviously United States. The aircraft has continued a limited test program with footage emerging of further flights which took place in February 2013. J-31 incorporates certain stealth characteristics such as forward swept intake ramps with divertless supersonic inlet BSI bumps, a two-piece bubble canopy, countered weapon base and two oblique vertical stabilizers. The J-31 is smaller than the Chengdu J-20. The use of twin-wheel nose landing gear led to speculation that J-31 may have been intended to be a carrier-based fighter. 
J31 has two internal bays that can each carry two medium range missiles with two heavy hard points and one light hard point on each wing. But while it seems to have an added an additional light hard point to each wing over the capacity of F-35, it seems to lack the capacity of the F-35 to mount a center line gunnery or jamming power. Uh, gunnery means uh, center line gunnery or jamming part. Port means uh, gunnery port. I think it means the targeting port and the jam jamming pad port. Office, officials from the AVI claimed that the additive manufacturing was extensively used on the aircraft, resulting in 50% reduction in components compared to the similar aircraft. However, the resulting airframe cannot be disassembled and static test frame had to be transported in whole as a consequence. The engines on the prototype aircraft were RD-93s. But uh, China already has an engine similar to RD-93, that is, Gu Guazhu WS-13, uh, which is currently installed on the JF-17, which has the same thrust and size of the Russian RD-93. China is working on an improved variant named WS-13E with 100 kN, uh, that means uh, 22,000 pounds of thrust for use on the J-31. Uh, Lin Zoming, chairman of China's ABEC, has said that he hopes to put domestic engines on the fighter. So at least it would be uh, WS-13E or even uh, uh, another improved version we will talk about later. Uh, the J-31 can carry 8,000 uh, kilograms of payload with four munitions totaling 2,000 kg internally and 6,000 kg carried on the external hardpoints. Primarily armor, armaments include the PL-10 short range air-to-air -air missile, the PL-15 medium range air-to-air -air missile, Four PL-21 missiles can also be fitted inside the J-31's internal weapons bay. It has a combat radius of 1200 km and a maximum takeoff weight of 25,000 kg, which has been uh, actually increased from 25,000 kg to 28,000 kg because of the engines. Uh, of the Officials from AVIC claimed that the aircraft would be stealthy against L-band and KU-band radars and would be low observable against a number of multi-spectrum sensors. The engine nozzles are apparently being redesigned to reduce radar and infrared, infrared signatures. Engines The Shenyang Aircraft Corporation has officially confirmed that the J-31 is installing WS-19 engine, which has a maximum thrust of 12 tons compared to WS-13 whose thrust is 9 tons. The total thrust of the jet has been increased from 18 tons to 24 tons. The maximum range of this jet was also extended to 1250 km because of this uh, engine chain and it can also supercruise. The supercruise is another uh, you can say characteristic of a 5th generation fighter. Supercruise means that the aircraft can go uh, into the supersonic speed without engagement of afterburner because afterburner uh, takes a lot of extra fuel it consumes a lot of extra fuel so the super cruise gives uh, aircraft uh, you can say extra mileage because of that uh, US military industry officials uh, believe that once the J-31 enters service it will likely be more than a match for existing 4th generation fighters like F-15 and F-16 and F-A-18. They suggest that the capability of J-31 against the newest fighters such as the US F-22 and F-35 5 would depend upon the factors such as the numbers of platforms, quality of pilots and capabilities of radars and other sensors. India's HAL AMCA and Japan's Mitsubishi FX are pursuing their own program to develop 5th and 6th generation fighters respectively to counter China's developments. 
other neighbors are considering purchase of F-35 or SU-57 to foster their capabilities. Vladimir Berkovsky of Russian Aircraft Corporation MiG has stated that despite some design flaws, the J-31 looks like a good machine, although it contains features already used on the US 5th generation fighter design. It is not a copy, but a well done indigenous design. Uh, of course, at the ceremony on uh, in January 2024, Pakistan's air chief announced it uh, intent to acquire the J-31 aircraft. Uh, then the uh, usual controversy in April 2009, the Wall Street Journal reported that the computer spies, allegedly Chinese, had penetrated the database of Joint Strike Fighter program and acquired terabytes of secret information. AVIC is alleged to have incorporated the stolen knowledge into the J-31. Uh, it's an uh, open field, you can say. Uh, America used as much of the German technology at the as it could captured not only America but the Russians also captured from East Germany uh, the areas that were under them and America's you can say whole stealth program is based on uh, Nazi Germany's uh, uh, prototype that they shipped back to the uh, that is I think called HO-225 uh, that uh, stealth fighter. It was a jet stealth. It, in fact, the world's first jet stealth fighter. Uh, going on to the uh, other specification, it has a length of 56 feet 9 inch, 37 wingspan 37 feet 9 inch, height 15 feet 9 inch, wing area 540 square feet, maximum takeoff weight 28,000 kg kilograms, maximum speed Mac at Mac 1.8 at high altitude, Mac 1.14 at sea level, combat range 1200 kilometers on internal fuels or 1900 kilometers with aerial refueling, service ceiling 52,000 feet, bombs uh, 500 bombs, uh, uh, 500 kg bombs, 8 500 kg bombs or 30 smaller bombs or small, smaller dial, diameter bombs. The radar is KLJ-7A, AISA radar, distributed aperture system, uh, optical early warning system. So the exact detail, obviously we will know when the first export customer receives it uh, with, the, uh, with even more modification, you can say. So this uh, uh, acquisition of J-31 might uh, prompt uh, India to go for uh, SU-57 or uh, uh, even the AMCA program will be boosted uh, because of news, I think. Uh, so it's an endless uh, uh, arms race, I can say. So that's, uh, that was all for today. Uh, I will be back with another interesting video. Take care. Bye.